Okay. <laughs> so Barb and I have been playing with my new or sort of semi-new. A month oldish at this point. Yeah, botanical long stem foam stamp designs. And we this time are using Tacky when dry gel and deco foil because did you even know that you can stamp the tacky when dry bleh, the tacky when dry gel you can stamp it and then adhere deco foil to it so what that looks like is some fun sparkly versions shiny foiled versions of the stamps and let's we got a little bit of glare coming from the window and the cool thing is is not only do you have the option to use the tacky wind dry and the color or colors of your choice of the deco foils we have two new substrates we have two new panel cards they are in the wet cement that i'm holding and elizabeth has the craft i love the craft i know you do i'm learning to like it a lot too it <laughs> just is one of those things that kind of works with everything it's a neutral enough that it does Everything yeah. looks good on craft. I think the wet cement is a close second for me yeah. in terms of my favorites. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's so much fun to stamp the adhesive and then deco foil these. Um, and we're going to show you how. Well, not only that, but we're going to, Elizabeth is going to show you a technique. This was, again, one of those things where we're playing around and we go, oh, that wasn't really what I had in mind. And we try to fix it and we come up with this really interesting thing that happens as a result. And she's going to show you that too. Making mistakes is the best way to learn new things. There you go. That sounds good to me. All right, let's go. Let's do it. All right. As we mentioned in the introduction, we have two new panel cards. We have the wet cement and craft. I'm going to work on wet cement. And in addition to that, we have two new envelopes. We have violet and pink. This is, they have the Astro Bright's name. I don't remember what it is. So here's the sample that I created initially when I started to play with the tacky wind dry gel medium. And you can see the shine on that and the deco foils. So I'm going to show you how the basics of using the tacky wind dry gel medium and Elizabeth is going to then take the basic technique and she's going to expand on it a little bit. Something that we stumbled on or she stumbled on by accident, but it proved to be a really interesting technique. So I have two of the stamps here and my goal is I need to get the tacky wind dry gel medium out on my nonstick craft sheet in a way that it's in a smooth, thin enough layer so that I can effectively stamp into that the layer with the stamp with the foam stamps and not make a mess because too much sometimes is not a good thing and this is one of those times when too much is not a good thing i don't know what that is but we want to get it out of there so i'm going to endeavor to spread this out in a pretty thin layer if you don't have the nonstick craft sheet then by all means go ahead and use a piece of palette paper or something similar so i'm going to go with this and i can make that work or at least i'm pretty sure i can make it work all right, so the thing with the tacky when dry is you want to wipe your tools off right away because if you don't, they will be tacky for a very long time once that dries. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tap this in here and I'm going to turn this over and see what it looks like. So that's a fair amount of coverage. If I think it's too much, what I'm going to do is just slide that a little bit and it takes some of the excess off. You can see it's off there. Now, some of this might actually beat up a little bit this is an imperfect science and certainly nature is not perfect so I'm perfectly okay being imperfect it will take a little bit longer to dry obviously the thicker the medium the longer it will take to dry but that's just the nature of the beast now what you can't see over there off camera is I have a piece of paper towel that's wet that I am putting this into and then I'm actually you know what before I put it down I'm gonna spray the surface of the stamp again when this dries and it's tacky this is a permanent thing it's not gonna come off so I now have this cute little trio of leaves, or actually that's a quadruple, isn't it? Because it's four. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and get that on there. If I think it's too much, I can kind of tap some of it off. And then I'm going to go ahead. And as you've seen in the past, because these stems are thin, it's quite easy to go ahead and bend them. As I like to say, bend them to your will. All right, so there's my leaf on there. I like the fact that it's kind of fallen off the edge. So again, 
put that there. Now I've got to clean this up because obviously I can't work in this mess. I cannot work like this. <laughs> I will not work like this. That's right. There you go. I will not work like this. All right. Almost there. Obviously, I don't want to get this all over the place because nobody wins when that happens. Okay, so this is going to take a little bit of time to dry. And how long is a function of where you live? Do you live in the desert? Then it's going to take less time. Did you glop it on really thick? It's probably going to take longer. So with that said, here's one that I did a little while ago. And I'm going to go ahead and foil this. And I have two colors of deco foil. This is, this is lapis watercolor. And this one is named Deep Blue. So I'm going to foil the larger of these two with the lapis watercolor. And I'm going to go ahead. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this one first because it'll work better that way. So you just shine it. So there's two sides. There's the silver side. The back of every style and color of deco foil and the Gina K foils is silver. It's silver that goes to the adhesive and the color that you're going to get faces up. So I'm just going to come in. Now the thing to know when you do this is that this is quite imperfect. Because you're not getting a perfect impression of the stamp, you're going to get high spots and thin spots. And I think that that's part of the charm. So there you go. Now if I need to come in and hit this again and kind of press it and twist with my thumb, I can get better coverage with this. Again, a little bit of pressure with my thumb and I get a little bit more transferring. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in the lapis watercolor and I can turn this this way and not worry about getting into this. And I want to be certain I have enough to get that flower head. A little bit more. All right, so what I'm going to do now is grab another section of the foil and just come back and again I'm going to rub. There's a fine line between too much and not enough. And in an effort to do a really good job here, I probably went with not enough. But let me bring back my original and you can see that when you are a little bit more thoughtful of how much of the tacky wind dry gel medium you put on, you're going to get a better impression. So I was trying to avoid these ridges that happened right here, but in the end I ended up with not quite enough, but that's okay because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, this is one of my favorite colors from the Art Alchemy line. I'm going to bring in, this is Fairy Wings, and I'm going to put a little bit of this out. Now, theoretically, you could put this on a gel plate and roll it out to make it like a palette. I am way too lazy for that, so I just kind of do this. And come in and get this done. And I'm going to, what am I going to do? I think I had plans to do this here. Okay, that's pretty. That looks pretty good. And now, again, I'm going to put that face down on my wet paper towel. Now, you know what? I think we need a little bit of spark of a different color. So let's go ahead. This is one of the Dilusions paints. This is a shimmer paint, and it's Blue Lagoon. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I have a different stamp I'm going to bring in. I'm going to spread a little bit of this out with my finger. I forget, again, the name of this one, but that's the one I'm going to use. Okay, there we go. So let's put one of these here like this. And pick it up. Oh, how pretty is that? See, that really works. Now, Ooh, that is amazing. I know, right? So, yes. But I've got four things, and we all know that odd numbers are better. So how I'm going to remedy that is I'm going to pick up, I'm going to let these colors kind of blend on the face of the stamp. So I'm going to get green and turquoise at the same time. And I think I will do that. And I'm going to let this overlap because, you know, not everything is in the foreground. So there we go. Now that could have been a little bit thicker. And the way to fix that is to come in like this. And when this is dry, I could add another layer. So now Elizabeth is going to come in and she's going to show you Again, one of these things that she stumbled on yesterday, and we both looked at it and thought, okay, that's really cool. So that's what's coming up next. So Barb showed you how to stamp with the 
tacky wind dry gel and apply the deco foil which is super fun and these card samples that i made utilize that technique as well you can see that i've got one stamp here with the multicolored foil another uh, poppy stamp here this one i did um, something special that i'm going to tell you about as my demo and then this one i did with the watercolor multicolor foil and then the second uh, and third elements i incorporated into these cards were stamping with paint so uh, basically you've seen me do this before i rolled paint out on the gel plate and inked up the stamp with on the gel plate with a thin layer of acrylic paint and then stamped these with the acrylic paint to allow one of the stems to be sparkly and the star of the show and the others are sort of supporting actors and actresses to that sparkly star of the show so what barb was talking about was for this example that I'm going to show you, it was a bit of a happy accident. I had stamped in gold this poppy seed pod head and this one, but this one got smushed and it, it lost its, um, its uh, pattern because it got a little smushed. So what I did was I stamped back on top of the deco foil in a way that brought the pattern back and took advantage of that gold edge and gold accent. So it's a double stamp. I also experimented with that a little bit with paint initially, which is probably what gave me the idea here in this one. You can see that the first stamp down was an off white and then I stamped over it with the blue. So lining them up sort of slightly out of register with a second stamp and a second color is a lot of fun. So for this one, we're going to second stamp with an archival ink pad. Ranger makes archival ink pads. They're wonderful in your artwork because they're permanent and fade proof and waterproof. You can paint over them, ink over them, play with them. And what I love about them with the foam stamps is once they dry because they're oil based, they're permanent on the stamp. They don't affect the stamp surface and you don't really have to go through great efforts to clean this off the surface of the stamps because once it's dry it's not going anywhere and it unlike acrylic paint this does not crust on the surface of the stamps okay so i stamped with deco foil in the champagne deco foil two of these long stem botanical stamps and i'm going to bring them back and stamp over them with the archival ink pad so for the one that looks a bit like a dandelion. I'm using magenta hue and I'm going to take the ink pad and stamp onto, because this is larger than the ink pad, it's a lot easier to stamp this way. Apply the ink this way to the whole thing. And then you're going to do your best to line it up. It doesn't need to be perfect. As a matter of fact, a little slightly out of register is even more interesting. We don't want to line it up so that this pink completely covers the gold. So I'm just going to get it close by looking at the bottom of this and the bottom of that. And then I'm going to, I bent the stem when I put it down. So I'm going to press that over the top. And here I get this wonderful play of the pink archival ink pad and the gold from the deco foil. I love that. It's lined up, but not perfectly. So we see the pink and we see the gold at the same time. So the next color I'm going to use is violet. And we're going to put that one on the second stamp in the same way. And again, we're going to add more detail to this because you can see that the gold impression was not perfect on this one. It still looks awesome, but it wasn't perfect. So we're going to bring back the detail by printing this on top. And I'm going to line that up with the bottom and follow the bend that I did in the stem. And then I get a little bit of a lavender pattern on top. Look at that. It's just beautiful the way the stamp pad because it's applied so thinly allows that deco foil to really make it shiny and shine through. You can see here, these I did with paint rolled out on the gel plate and you can see they're more opaque. So they cover and they're more solid. So depending on the effect that you're going for, you can get this more delicate effect with the ink pads or a little bit of a bolder effect 
by applying acrylic paint to the foam stamp and stamping over the deco foil with tacky when dry gel. And we have these fantastic brightly colored envelopes and I think this one would look great in the pink. And that one looks fun in the orange and I think this one could look great in the pink as well. It is. It's okay. A tongue twister. A tongue twister. Say that five times fast. Nope. Not going there. <laughs> so um, now uh, you. this is our second video with the foam stamps. So now you've seen us use them with paint and with foil. And mica stains. And mica stains. And different uh, colored backgrounds and envelopes. So what we want to encourage you to do is to post on Instagram what you create with these fun long stem botanical stamps and use the hashtag create with jobbles. Indeed, that would be great because it means we can find your work on social media and we can share it. And other people might come up with brilliant ideas for using these foam stamps that you would have never thought of. So. That's right. and can't they hashtag paper paintings too? Yeah, you can hashtag paper paintings too. But the but the create with joggles hashtag is kind of cool because you can go in there and see what other people are doing with the same product. That's right. Indeed. We're done. It's good. What do you mean we're done? I said we're done. <laughs> She's we're so eager to get off the camera always. You have no idea. <laughs> we're done. Okay. Stick a fork in us. We're done. Bye. Bye. <laughs>